So I'm back right now with another videosmo about the Corona Chan probably. Mo. So, um, it's not very good and it sucks and stuff. We have got 5,500 cases in the UK. Let's check the Scotland numbers. But I'm, I'll tell you that right now. Scotland. Scotland. Okay. So, I'm not actually really here to discuss that. We have 416 in Scotland. Magical. As I was watching this video, uh, here. <laughs> that face. <laughs> anyway, um, by Rocking Mr. E. Now, actually, this guy's actually all right. His subscribers have went down. He had more last time I was. Or, like, a couple of years ago. Anyway. This is going on about... Oh, it's basically saying it's a nothing burger or it doesn't matter. It's just the most selfish boomers are ruining the economy and taking away our liberties like this. And I'm just like, you're so stupid and wrong. It's going, oh, it's the, the swine flu and SARS. Like this. Not taking into account that the whole reason for the whole place getting shut down is because of the time scale. Swine flu and bloody SARS took two years to get to the highest level. This has taken two months. It's went like a rocket ship. It's literally a V2 rocket of Corona Chan going up into the sky. And that is what is happening. And it's very disturbing. So we've been seeing quite a few, so I'm just thinking this is like a narrative that is really, really stupid. Caring more about my liberties and all my freedom. Oh, I want to go to the pub and get steaming because I'm a degenerate that can't stop being a degen for five bloody minutes. Going, oh, it's just the selfish boomers. Mm. Oh, so stupid. Not even thinking about the, the time frame here. Like, yes, there isn't, on the grand scale of things, there isn't really that many people who have died, right? Or not even that many people infected. That's not the whole point, though. The whole point is it will spread extremely quickly. If it's, Even with all these lockdowns and stuff, it still spreads extremely quickly. So that's what happens. And he's going on, my economy. Who cares about the stupid economy? It's literally fake. It's literally BS. Like, all you can do is somebody sits at a computer and goes click, 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 and then it's the economy fixed because it's literally just digital garbage. It's all fake. It's just all fake. Like, the whole economy is literally fake. I've got a book here somewhere. That's in my other room. Global Macro... No, that's my name of my class. It's just, it's just called Regular Macroeconomics. It's just a bunch of garbage. It literally is. It's literally just a bunch of ass made up by... Smart body maths people that sit around and go, Oh, yes, if we put this calculation and this graph and all this crap, you actually just change the number and it fixes it. So that's it's just stupid going on about my economy. Like, going on, oh, the government can't, oh, they're printing money and they're gonna, oh, they're paying people to stay home. It's gonna make it, it's gonna be like, like the 70s all over again. It'll be like before Thatcher came along. Yeah, and would you, would you, would, would, this guy's like literally saying he'd rather have a bunch of people unemployed and destitute than the government help them out. It's just, it's this branch of the political right where they're just so selfish and individualistic, it's unbloody believable. It's like they would see somebody starving in the street, they would laugh at them and go, oh, that guy needs to try harder. Those kind of people. Yeah, that's that's this guy's like this. So, ran over. Anyway, we've got, like, well, this guy is actually quite good, right? But I was going to talk about this guy, but I realised he just this uploaded is... this video. So, uh, just showing some pictures from the UK. You know, some Western Union money transfer, because he clearly lives in an area, let's just say, not very European in this country. So... All the, the alcohol is all gone. All the TP is gone. 
all of whatever these were is also gone. And he doesn't take that many pictures. Oh god, he's just got all the crap that nobody wants. Like, who the hell wants whatever these are? I don't know. This is all just garbage for the area, it's crap. So all the... Well, I guess nobody wants Nesquik. And then just back to the TP picture. I was actually getting, I was at the shop the other day, I was pretty disappointed. I'm like, why is nobody panic behind Sovine? Sovine's literally the best. I eat so much Sovine, it's actually so good. But clearly nobody wants Sovine, it's such a shame. Which it actually sucks, because, oh, for those of you not in the UK, Sovine's like this malt loaf thing I'll show you. This is like your traditional Sovine here. It kind of looks like this. And it is one of the most delicious things ever made. And it's just it's just so good. It's actually just so good and nobody's buying it. So I've got all the story for me. But yeah, they've put limitations on what you can buy in the shop. I was arguing over hot dogs with the bird that was there. I was all like, give him, a, give him the hot dogs. Like, clearly there's a whole aston of hot dogs left because nobody wants to eat these minging ready hot dogs. But I don't care if I've got a stomach made of iron. They're just eating anything. And they're like, mm, you can only have three hot dogs. And I'm like, well, you only allowed three bloody something else. It's like, just shut up. I seen some bloody military chilling outside the shop and a bunch of army trucks driving along the road when I was going out earlier today. But they feel like Zog bots coming to put us all under martial law because the martial law is coming. Now, unlike most, I don't actually really am particularly opposed to martial law. Right, I don't really care. Okay, I don't see it as a huge deal because we don't have any bloody freedom anyway. So it's it's just a logical extension that we've been going for years, but people can't see it. They think they're free. Free, yeah, free is the correct. Sometimes it's weird. They think they're free because oh, I can go to the pub and I can get steam in and I can roll them at the flare being sick. And all that kind of stuff, but that isn't real freedom. That's what they want you to do, because they want your mind enslaved to these intoxicants, right? But no, people like me and people that think, like imagine the way you guys think, are not really free. Imagine we started to talk about certain historical events, and you probably know which ones I'm talking about. They happened in a country next to France in the 1940s, or supposedly happened, right? As you talk about that, oh no, you're carted off to the big house by some Zogbots. You talk about the grooming gangs and you talk about the explosions and stuff. Uh, you're carted off to jail. So there is no freedom in this country. So martial law doesn't make a bloody difference, but it does help us because it accelerates the downward spiral of the Zog system, allowing it to be placed with the third way, the third position system. Yes, and I'm pretty sure you know what that means. Because, well, think about it. What happened in the 1920s last time? We had a economic disaster, disease disaster, and then the greatest thing ever that takes up the next five of my hand, or three, to make the hand up to five, because it's just so powerful. That's right, the third way, the way of fascism. Anyway, uh, it's nothing about that. Get out of just stuffy thinking about that now. Oh, that's so good. Anyway, uh, just like stay inside your house and like don't go out and stuff and work out. I'll show you what I'm using to work out before we, we end today. I don't own weights, so I'm used to go to the gym, so I don't buy weights. So I've only got these six kg kettlebells that I got free. So you basically just do some bicep covers, but you just put them both together like this, and then you've got a 12 kg weight, and you just like, you know, do it like this. I've done my workout already. You can do some like sit ups and stuff. You just do that. And you just do a whole bunch of them, depending on your strength level. And if you're weak, you can just use one. So, saltation. Live long and don't die.